and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to use some new products, exciting high-end products um, to create this really nice pink festive glittery look. I'm literally obsessed. I've never used glitter before in my life. I don't know why. Um, so if you want to see how I created this look, please keep on watching. Okay, so we're going to start with the base. I'm using my new Golan Meteorite base. I think this is like a um, hydrating, blurring, any lines, imperfections. It looks so pretty. So it's like, and I'm just going to put that all over my face. More watery than what I thought it would feel like. Feels nice and hydrating. Okay, now for another newbie, I'm going to use the Huda Beauty Fake Filter Foundation. I've got the shade Trilectures 320G. I think it's going to be on the verge of being a little bit too dark, but we can make it work um, with a lighter concealer. I have actually done a review on this on my blog, so if you want to read a little bit more into this foundation, take a look. I haven't actually used it with a beauty blender yet, so we'll see how this works. Some people said they don't like the scent of this foundation, but I actually quite like it. it smells like an expensive moisturiser. Okay, once that's all blended in, we're going to go in with concealer. So I'm going to use um, a bit of a lighter concealer. This is the Naked Skin in the shade Light Warm by Urban Decay. Whoa, that went everywhere. So I'm just going to put a little bit under my eyes. Also on my eyelids to prep for eyeshadow. Okay, now that's been sitting there for a little bit, I'm just going to blend it in with my beauty blender. I like to take it down the nose just to give that lightning effect. Okay, now we need to set all the concealer so it doesn't crease. I'm going to go in with my little Z palette. This is the Anastasia Contour Kit in the shade Banana. So I'm just going to take that on a little... I think this is the matte contour brush, but I like to use it for under my eye. So I'm just going to sit under the eye here. And also the eyelids, ready for the eyeshadow. And for the rest of the face, I'm going to take my Real Techniques um, powder brush and apply the Laura Mercier Candlelight Sheer Perfecting Powder. And I've got the shade number two. This is a really nice powder. It's very, very finely milled. So you're not going to see powder on your skin. You know, when you get, you can see it stick to your hair, your forehead. I'll apply quite a lot of powder there. And next step, I'm going to use a newbie. This is whoa. This is the Golan Terracotta Bronzer. And what shade have I got? I've got number five, Moyen Medium Black. Pretty packaging. I'm going to take my trusty Tom Ford bronzer brush. I actually just washed it, so I hope it's dry. Yeah, it's dry. I'm just going to swirl it around there. Ooh, very, very pigmented. Nice colour. 
blends by itself. Okay, now for blush. I'm going to go in with the Hourglass Radiant um, Magenta Blush. I'm going to do like a, a pinky glitter eye, so this colour would tie in nicely. And it gives a nice glow to the cheeks. Pretty. Okay, I'm not going to highlight yet, so that's the best, so I'm going to save that to last. We're going to go on to the eyeballs. Uh, another newbie, this is the Marc Jacobs, what is this, iconic eyeshadow palette in the shades Glambition. I've just got this one for an everyday neutral palette, which I haven't actually got. We are actually going to go in with a few eyeshadow palettes today. Gods, why not? So to start with, I'm just going to take this very neutral, very light brown shade and apply that in my crease. Uh, this is my trusty Morphe M441 brush. So I'm just going to apply this in the crease. A really nice transition colour. And while I'm here actually with a clean brush, I'm going to take that under the eye as well. Put in attractive faces. These eyeshadow palettes, I'd say, is really good for travelling if you do travel a lot because they are very compact. I'm going to take my Huda Beauty. Desert Dust Palette. I haven't used it in a while actually because I keep being rushing around for work. So, And this is kind of a palette that you have to sit down and think about because they're funky colours in here. But I'm just going to take the purple shade is, which is called Amethyst and I'm just going to apply that in the crease. Again going right into the inner corner and just backwards and forwards oh on the same brush as well okay purple's done whoop, whoop. now I'm going to go into a palette that I haven't actually used for a while so we're going to use it today put that down there I'm going to go in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Renaissance palette. That's a pretty warm colours. We're going to stick with the cranberry and the ready colours today. And I'm actually going to change my brush now to a smaller brush. I'm going to use my new brush. Ooh. This is the Zoeva 225 Eye Blender brush. So it's a bit more shorter and denser because I want to pack that colour on. So I'm actually going to take Love Letter and yeah, I'm just going to actually just take Love Letter for the time being. These are very powdery so I hope they don't go everywhere because I've just cleaned. So I'm just going to stamp that on my eye because you want to put the colour down first. Let me zoom. So I'm just going to stamp that on the outer corner. And, God, it's a bit cut handed, isn't it? And the inner corner. And once we've stamped that on, I'm just going to take that same blending brush that we had to start with and I'm just going to go gently backwards and forwards like this just to blend it all in and then to deepen it up I'm going to go in with Venetian Red I'm literally just going to go over it I haven't worn colours like this in so long I keep playing it safe 
or the matte brown eye. And again, just taking that same blending brush, and going backwards and forwards. I'm going to take that Morphe E18. I'm going to take that purple that we used in the Huda Beauty palette and I'll run that along with the lash line. Once that colour's on there, I'm going to take red ochre again, just blend that out. Okay, now for the exciting bit, I'm going to take my next new makeup product. I've got the MAC little Christmas um, gift set so it comes with the MAC pigments in like mini form but it's more than enough product to get you through years so I've got whisper pink and copper sparkle so pretty and then the glitter is this pink one it's just called pink very original so we need glitter glue where's my glitter glue here it is so I bought the Lit Cosmetics Little Glitter Glue, which was recommended by Jacqueline Hill. Hey, my camera stopped. But what I did is I dipped my brush in the Lit Cosmetics Glitter Glue, and then I dipped it in the MAC Cosmetics Pink Glitter. And this is what we have. Oh my god, I just can't get over this. This is so amazing. I can't believe I haven't used glitter before. I'll just focus it in the middle. And check that's even. Oh my god, I never want to take this off. And I'm just going to stop at the crease. So this is what we have so far. Okay, I'm back. I've done my mascara. I don't think I'm going to apply false lashes. I'm just not a fan. So I'm just going to apply some black eyeliner. So I'm just going to apply this in my waterline. Glides on straight away. I'm also going to tight line. I'm going to take my NARS Hot Sand Blush. I do use this as a highlight because who the hell is going to put that on their cheeks? So I'm just going to put that here. I like it because it's not glittery at all, it's just a nice sheen. I think we've got enough glitter going on. And a bit on my nose. Cupid hair. And I just need to get a teeny tiny brush for my in a corner. I'm actually going to try the the MAC pigment actually in the shade Whisper Pink. People aren't going to know what's hitting when I arrive. I'm just going to put a little bit what's left remaining on my brow bone. I'm just going to put a little lip gloss on because I'll be drinking all night and I don't want to worry about my lips. So I'm going to take my new Marc Jacobs lip gloss, the best lip gloss formula ever. And this is the shade Boom. Boom. Oh my god, that's so windy. Never do that again. I'm just not cool enough to do that. Ooh, that's really nice. 